1st of May at Spa Francorchamps. The sun shining, a beautiful racetrack, a challenging field packed full of talent with lots of new cars, new teams, and a whole new category to contemplate. Hypercar made its debut. Toyota Gazoo Racing locked out the front row with their two 010 hypercars. And in third place, Phil Hansen for United Autosports, the car that led LMP2 qualifying. And Hansen was not hanging around waiting for the Toyotas to sort out their private battle. He went right by them at the start to take the lead briefly for LMP2. In the GTE Pro class, a stunning lap for the 92 Porsche on pole. And despite early challenges from Ferrari, it was rarely headed. Ten laps, the number seven Toyota led, then the number eight was waiting through because it was seeming to be a quicker car at this stage Alpine were bedding themselves in gently with their number 36 car the third hypercar plenty of action throughout the GT category in pro and am and lots of close racing as we've always come to expect in the LMP2 class including this heart in the mouth moment for the WRT team as their young superstar Ferdi Habsburg went side to side down through Eau Rouge. Contact between the number seven Toyota and the 91 Porsche. It had already had one puncture, that caused another. And after four hours of racing, the first yellow flags and full course caution. Alpine at this stage looked very much potentially a race winner, particularly as Toyota's number seven car locked up and steered off into the gravel. This car had already had a number of off-track excursions and contact with the Porsche. Kazuki Nakaji, uh, Kamu Kobayashi put it in the gravel and cost them a chance of victory. Cinetech leading at this stage, struggling to get back up to speed on cold tyres. G drives 26 car, their better place car had an oil leak that put them out of the race. Cinetech re recovered to take the battle to Toyota into the closing stages. The 92 Porsche was almost never headed in the GTE Pro Class, a starry weekend for them. 22 United Autosports in front, almost without exception, in LMP2. And the overall race win, the first of the hypercar era, went to Toyota number eight. The TGR 010 claiming the first hypercar win, the number seven car claiming the first hypercar pole. Stay tuned.